In this animation, we are looking at the chemistry of a silica particle. You will notice that the silicon atom has a valency of 4, just like carbon. And at the surface of the silica particle, the silicon atom is no longer bonded to another silicon oxygen silicon link, but rather ends as a silicon attached to an OH group, sometimes known as a hydroxyl group. And together, this is known as a silanol group. The silanol group, which is a silicon hydroxyl combination, gives the silica particle its hydrophilic property. This silanol group is also an excellent reactive site for introducing a hydrophobe onto the particle. You see that the hydrophobe in this animation is a C18 molecule, which is 18 carbons bonded end to end. The C18 hydrophobe is covalently bonded to the silanol group to create a hydrophobic surface. This new surface is the stationary phase and the silica particle is known as the support material. Because the silica particle is quite porous, the C18 groups are in fact bonded throughout the particle, creating hydrophobic content both on the surface and within the particle, and this is important to remember.